the Wild Lake Village Center is in the very center of um, the aerial photo. We are less than half a mile from downtown Columbia or the Mall at Columbia. And with the new master plan there, there will be another million square feet of retail and approximately two million square feet of office space. Now, additionally, uh, we understand there will be about 5,500 residential units. And we support what they're doing there. One simple question, where's the full service grocer? Um, um, this has been an ongoing discussion for the last four years, um, as I've shared and I'll say it again this evening. Um, if there was an interest by a full service grocer to come to the center, we would have done it four years ago or three years ago or two years ago. Um, we continually talk to the food players um, because of the competition and everything that's done that's going on around here from the Wegmans, Trader Joe's, Costco's, everything's changed than what was here um, 40 years ago. There is no interest by a, a full service grocer to come into this center. My desire would have been to do that day one. 4,000 square foot neighborhood drugstore. They have 12, 13,000 square foot gross, um, pharmacies that have a small counter there and have paper goods, has milk, have bread, you know. Two lanes of traffic to get into that. And that, I'm, that just want to share that as, as a concern. In terms of the environmental question, you said the county, I believe I was to say the county has determined that this is redevelopment and that has an impact. My question is, does that mean you're held to a higher standard around stormwater, et cetera, or does that mean you're held to a lower standard around stormwater, et cetera? Um, I, I believe that it's a higher standard. Um, I think if, if this was a new development, I would have a lot more flexibility, a lot more flexibility than I, than I have on the redevelopment. Um, the, the old regulations, I only had to manage for 20% on redevelopment, and now I have to do 50%. So um, it is much more uh, stringent. Okay, thank, thank you. Talk a little bit about this feels very spread out. And, it feels, and in my head, and I'm not in your business, it would seem to me to make more sense to cluster things together so that there's some synergy between different things. I can stop here and then move here next door. And also about, it's, again, it seems to me more natural to have the, re the residential above the retail. So again, it's more efficient around use of, of ground space and so on. and can have more open space. Uh, and then a small question. Is the parking for the swim center, et cetera, bigger or smaller than it is for Slayton House, bigger or smaller than it is now? Okay, you've asked about four questions. <laughs> so let, let me first go from the back. The consolidated parking field that we've isolated around the Slayton and the swim area and the tennis area, uh, we think is a greater number of spaces that are concentrated around that spot. Let me then move to your next question that was about why not put residential above retail. Um, we can go take a drive and look over the last five years of as many of those projects that have been developed and are suffering today. Um, the overlapping of a retail and a residential has built in conflicts and many, many lifestyle centers that were created over the last five years are struggling because one is residential people don't want to sit and worry about their exhaust um, duct work going through their units and going above or plumbing and other things going vertically. The overlapping of those two unit types um, has become challenging for people to want to get involved. Without a property of maybe five acres, four or five acres, um, and it's usable. It is a very small area compared to what um, people look at as a bigger project of people walking from one point to the other. We believe this is a very walkable, 
clearly I've heard um, as the woman before you mentioned and you brought up we've heard this concern about trying to keep everything together well you know we're trying to we believe we've created a concept that allows some more walkability that people want a place if you want to go if there is a you know, a nice cafe at the corner, and they want to go get a sandwich, and then that little jewel inside the courtyard is an ice cream spot. You can walk around, and then if you need to pick up your drugs, you're literally only 80 feet to 90 feet away going across the park.